Wow, I'm so impressed with the Ruin Factory 4 special menu. It looks so beautiful. There's flower dropping down, and there's different mode. There's story mode, new marriage mode, and another episode. So this is the first time Milky ever played the Ruin Factory. So I've been reading up tips and uh, tricks online, but please let me know if I did anything wrong and you want to share the tips with me. So we're going to start with a new story mode. So Milky played a little bit just to going through the tutorial before we started. But now we're going to start a new save file together. Well, apparently we start in spring one and the weather is fair and we're in an airship. It's a no red flight and flying to Sofia. Well, in order to get all the correct translation, Yuki actually downloaded a program called the Rune Translator and I got the English translation, I think based on the Rune Factory 4. So um, I will go translating it mostly based on the script to make sure that my translation is accurate. And then we have two options. We can either say I'm flying high baby or goddess I'm so high up. I don't see the difference, so I'm just gonna say goddess I'm so high up. And I think, oh, based on this option, it decides whether we're male or female. So because Milky chose a more female version, we're going to be a female. And they ask, do we really want to be one? Sure. I actually really like the character design of both the female propagandist and the male one. They both look great. And then where this flight is heading to a town of uh, Sophia, that town is famous for its god. Oh, I wonder who's the, who's the god? And I'm standing here trying to deliver this gift to her. Oh, I wonder what kind of gift we're going to deliver. I don't have much time. I have to deliver it soon. Oh, I love the female propagandist design. She's so cute. Look at her. She looks almost like a princess. Um, excuse me, how long are we to Sophia? Oh, and here's the captain, I guess. Um, well, we're almost there. Are you setting out to do a bit of a sightseeing? Yes, mm, something like that. Oh, it's a real good nice town. The beautiful weather and the scenery and you got a great atmosphere. You can feel the protection of the god when you're standing on the roads. Oh, you will definitely enjoy there, stay there for sure. Oh, I hope so. And then, oh, it seems like we're thinking about something. Oh, and there's somebody inside the barrels here. And they're saying, Psst, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Well, Mickey's gonna do a little bit of voice acting. By the way, what are we doing? Wow, what kind of idiot are you? You don't even know why we're here? <laughs> well, you always get mad when I ask. What? No, 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 nothing. We're here to uh, see that person over there. See? And then he's sighing. Oh, I see. It's that woman. Oh, I guess if it's a man, they would say it differently. And, uh,. Now we're ready to make our move. You ready? Yep. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know how to make the sound when I jump out, jump out of the barrel. Sorry for my bad voice acting. And we're obviously scared. And now, oh, they're going to fight us. Hey, hey, hey. Now, this ship is processed by us. If you don't want to get hurt, um, do what we say. Oh, no. They're going to fight us. That's what I want to say. Just give us the thing that you're about to give to the native dragon. How how do you know about that? Well, you'd be surprised what a little research will turn up. How could you possibly know? Who are you? This gift is very important. I won't just give it to a total stranger. Well, I'm that's that's all right. I'm trained for emergency like this. And then I guess we enter the tutorial of how to fight. So Milky is first going to equip our little sword here and then just keep speed to fight them. Oh, they're rather easy to fight. The fighting system is not bad at all. I love it. Look at all the combo and we kill them so fast. Yay! So Milky is usually really bad with fighting, but it seems like we're fine. And I love how Rune Factory adds the fighting system on top of a farming system. Just, they're just so awesome. How do these people know about this? Anyway, if anybody is after it, I have to hurry. Oh no! Oh no! The, there's somebody just trying to attack us, and he's like, ah, not so fast. Oh no! They 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 somehow stabbed us in the back, and we we lost whatever we were trying to give. Oh, wake up! Oh, it seems like somebody was trying to wake up. Wake up already! Oh. 
Gosh, we're still in the ship and they're, they're trying to get the stuff out of them. Ah, oh, you're finally awake. Uh, then what should we do? You just uh, close your mouth. <laughs> then one of them is so mean to the other. Okay, now you should tell me where do you hide that thing, okay? What thing? And then, oh no, we have three options. We can either say, who am I? Where is this? Or who are you? Ah, uh, it seems like we lost our memory. I'm gonna ask, who am I? What? <laughs> They're so surprised. What? Who, who am I? Wait, hey, you should uh, tell her something. Yeah, but uh, you told me to shut up. Oh gosh, just do what I say. Mm, you're so mean. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, uh, who are you guys? Are you are you trying to play silly? No, I really don't know. I'm asking you, where's the stuff that you were holding? I really don't know. You. Oh no, I wonder where it's gonna go. Um, what should we do now? Maybe he lost his her memory. Lost memory? Well, even though I have confi I don't have confidence, but it must be it. Ah, oh, then what should we do? Oh gosh. Um, maybe I lost my memory. Who could lost their memory so easily? Oh gosh. Well, you shouldn't cry over a spilled milk, sir. I know that. Ah. Uh, well, wait, wait a minute. How do you know? How do we know you're not just playing us like a fool? It could be a trick. Huh? Yeah. Good point, sir. Excellent. Take this fool over there and we'll see the little um, threatening put out the truth. Sure. What? Ah, uh, wait. Oh no, they're dragging us down. Are they really going to push us under, down the ship? I hope not. Oh, what are you guys doing? Of course, we're going to... Um, what? You said push. What should I do? You. I was asking you to use the height. How should I use it? Uh, if you kick her really hard, then she will know. Okay, is it like this? <gasps> he really kicked us. Uh, wait. <laughs> what? Who really pushed that girl down? <laughs> oh gosh, that's so silly. It's almost like a comedy. But I love the female character's uh, hairstyle. It's so cute. I love, I love her hairs. Oh, and uh, this must be the dragon. I wonder if, if she's the native dragon and she's sighing. Ah, dear me, what should I do? Hmm. Oh, it seems the dragon is really troubled and he's like, hmm? What? Wait. What? What's happening? <laughs> oh gosh, we hate the dragon. Poor dragon. I like the dragon design. It's pretty interesting. And she's like, oh, it hurts. What's happening? Somebody dropped down the sky? Somebody? Um, are you still alive? Are you still alive? Are you still alive? <laughs> I think the female is completely passed out. Oh, oh, I think we're still alive. Oh, it's so painful. Oh, you're still alive. Mm, barely. Are you okay? Oh, seems like we're just fine. She didn't even bleed. Uh, just the back hurts. Oh, <laughs> it's funny how um, the rest of it seems perfectly fine. <gasps> you fall down the sky and you only hurt your back? What's happened with your body? I really like the voice acting of the dragon. She's a female. What? Uh -huh. A talking dragon? <laughs> she just find out it's a talking dragon. Oh, ah. Uh -huh. Well, alright, I suppose introductions are in order. Uh -huh. I'm uh, Venezuela, the Divine Wind, one of the legendary native dragons scouring this world. Oh wow. One, uh, and I don't care if you are fallen from a booth, you have no right to enter this chamber. What's your name? Me? Oh, uh, and then suddenly somebody showed up. Lady Venezuela! What in the no world was that noise I just heard? Oh, who's this suspicious person? Wait, Volcano? Uh, I'm not sure whether I said his name correct or not. And uh, he said, but, um, calm down, we're talking now. Ah, okay. So I guess the butler back off, back off, and he says, so, who are you? Uh, <laughs> it's so funny how we look in game. It's so different than the actual uh, drawing. It looks a little bit more um, chubby and cute. Well, instead of uh, the default name, I'm going to name myself Milky, like always. I wonder, oh, okay, Milky. Duh. 
And then, oh, we also get to choose our birthday. I usually choose winter 18th, so it's the same as our Harvest Moon birthday. And I said, hmm, I think it's Milky. Huh, how could you be so vague about your own answer? Say it clearly. Uh, well, that's the best I can do, I'm afraid. Other than my own name, I couldn't remember anything. <gasps> what? Are you speaking the truth? Yeah. Huh, I think I see honesty in your eye. Oh, but... I can't believe you lost your memory. So sad. <laughs> oh gosh, the bottler come here and gave us a hug and start crying. That's so funny. Oh, you must be so sad losing your memory. But don't worry. On me, you still have me. <laughs> no, wait, I can't Ooh. breathe. Ah, <laughs> That's funny. Oh no, we passed out again. Oh no, isn't this the princess that uh, we heard of last week? Oh, maybe we are the princess. Hmm, you do wear very high-end uh, custom. You must have lost your memory from the shock of the fall. Do you have an idea how or why you come to drop from above? That's because... And then I guess we talk about the rebel and all that. And then... Oh, huh, you met somebody who robbed you. Oh, there must be the villains chase after the princess. You're right, it can't be a coincidence. Hi. What can I Hmm, prepare the room for the princess. Okay. Oh, I'm so happy. We're actually a princess? Um, can I ask a question for the room? Is it for me? Of course. But I wasn't meant to live here to drop it down, of course. Uh, nobody meant to drop down to for anything. Well, now that uh, we know who you are, you can relax. Uh, we were prepared for you to live here anyways. Uh, but... This town might be have some clues to recover your memory. Don't you think it's beneficial for you to live here? Mm, that might be right. Is it really okay? Of course. Thank you. Don't worry. Speaking of that... Oh, the cutscenes is so long. But I, I did hear that Rune Factory is a lot more story driven than Harvest Moon. So it's gonna be interesting. What I just said, you don't remember, right? What? Uh, what do you mean by that? Uh, the way I was speaking, or like the, uh, you know, my word choice. Oh, ah, you do speak differently. Hmm, you sound more condescending now. Uh, I can't believe she still remembers. <laughs> I can't believe you just, uh. Well, it's okay. Ah, uh, well, since you already heard it, then I have no choice. Uh, Lady Venezuela? Ah, uh, you can just call me Venti. <laughs> Venti? Yeah, you shouldn't respect me now. Uh, I won't be happy. Please, stop speaking so quietly. It makes me rather uncomfortable. Talk me like uh, we're old friends, right? Uh, just normal. Uh, okay. Um, I'll listen to you. Um, I know. Hmm, good. What's more important is, did anybody... Please don't let anybody else know about this, alright? About what? Um, the fact that I'm kind of uh, informal by nature. Ah, you're hiding people. You can't tell anybody, understood? <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> I like how the personality of the dragon is so cute. <clears throat> Lady went as well. The room is not ready. Well done. Your body must ache. Uh, rest early today. Now, Lord Arthur, allow me to show your show you to your room. Arthur, yeah. I heard that's the name of the princess. Huh, how could it be? That's a male's name. How huh, weird. Then why is your name Milky? Uh, am I really the princess? I couldn't remember and I don't think my name is Arthur. Huh, it, it, it must be really sad that you forgot your name. No, no, I just don't. I understand that you must be confused, so you should just get some rest. But we will soon know whether you are related to the king's family or not. Uh, now, then you will, you will prove that your name is wrong. No, but I am Milky. Hmm, Milky, what a special name. You can call it by that. I will leave the rest to you, Velcano. Okay, I will take care of it. Oh gosh, both the dragon and the bottler just ignore us. Now, princess, let's go. Hmm, but I feel like I'm not the princess. And Arthur, isn't that a boy's name? <laughs> oh gosh, I don't know what's gonna happen. Milky? What? Please remember the promise. Promise? You already forgot? The way I speak. Oh, okay. I remembered. Uh, why did I let this girl know? Please don't forget our promise. Uh, okay. 
<laughs> I bet Milky will forget the next day. Oh, and this is our room. Well, this is your room. Let me tell you something that's really important. Okay, he's gonna do some tutorial and I will skip. Okay, after a bunch of tutorial, we went to sleep and then wake up. Quick, wake up. Oh, it seems like somebody's trying to wake up. Uh, it's so funny how even though we lay down on the bed, but we don't use the comforter. Maybe that must be a way how princess sleep. And we meet this new girl. So one thing I really love about Rune Factory is whenever we meet one of the main characters, they have this little anime cutscene. It's, it's so special. I wish Harvest Moon does this too. It feels very, um, I don't know, very cute. <laughs> and uh, here is the new character and she's falling asleep, but it seems like she saw us. Um, Ano, please wake up. Oh, she <laughs> I think we woke her up. Oh, good morning. Good morning. How are you how can you sleep standing here? Hmm, I don't really know myself. I think I came in here for something. Oh dear, what is it? <laughs> oh, is she the maid? That she's so funny. Ah, oh, I remembered. Mr. Wokanon asked me to come and wake you up. Are you awake yet? Hi. Yep. <laughs> I really like the new maid. Um, well, good morning then. I'm pleased to meet you. My name is Clorica and I'm a battling training. I'm Miki. Well, after a short introduction, Clorica tell us that we should go out and farming. Yay! Here comes my favorite farming section. And she says that apparently Miki is really suitable for farming. What does that even mean? Does she know that Miki loves farming game? <laughs> well, I don't know. Well, now let's go see. Oh gosh, I'm so happy. That's the part that I really... <gasps> this is our farm? Mm. I have to be well even though the anime was really surprised uh, really cool and uh, awesome but I'm really surprised about how well, our farm must... looks it's a I think half as moon did a lot better job about how our farm look but maybe it will look better in <laughs> later in game well let's take a look at this new character he must be the butler too and he says princess <laughs> and jump around us you're the princess I've been waiting for you for so long uh, wait a minute. I might be princess. You could just call me Miyuki. Please. Okay, I understand. This is Miyuki. Ah, oh, it really suits your atmosphere. You're just like a carrot. What? <laughs> it's funny how like <laughs> a, a noble feeling is a carrot. Well, uh, let me introduce myself. Oh, good morning. My name is Wishnail and I, in order to become a butler, I'm training here. Well, maybe I will cause you some trouble, but I'm honored to serve you, Miyuki. Why don't I start off by introducing the field? Okay, sure. So now, um, after the tutorial, Miyuki is gonna do a little bit of a basic farming. I think this part is actually very, very similar to Harvest Moon. And all we need to do is just uh, make our tour hold some ground similar and i think it's actually pretty intuitive one thing that i found out is really interesting is almost every farm game start with the carrot seed i wonder why and then he give us some default tools and the uh, one seed so i'm going to put on this carrot seed oh i think Miyuki needs to put some water into it and here we go okay this part Miyuki is very familiar with after playing tons of farming games and we're done Maybe we are suitable for farming. <laughs> it's so funny. He told us we look so charming when we when we when us farm. Oh, and it seems like we could even have animals. And in the future, you can have the monster help you with your farm work. Oh, I love it! I can't wait to see the monster system. It's basically like the harvest bride system, but so much better. Oh, I I would love to see a bunch of monsters helping me with with the farm work. That's the dream. Also, we get to name our farm now. I think I'm just gonna name it uh, Milky Land. Well, the Milky Land is too long, so I named it Boba Land. <laughs> Aww, he says, hmm, what a good name. Well, uh, maybe you don't feel tired because this is your first time, but later if you do this, uh, it will actually cause your RP, and when it's uh, at the bottom, it will consume your HP. Oh no, and you might pass out, so be careful. 
Um, and uh, it seems like it's like the fatigue and the stamina system. Also, we have a kind of a health system because we have fighting. That makes sense. Well, after the farming tutorial, um, they ask us to go to find the Lady Venezuela. Oh, the intro is so long though, but I understand they're trying to get us into this world and uh, she's trying to help us to remember our memory, but we just couldn't get it. So they're saying, how about you go out and uh, go talk to everybody? And uh, Lady Venezuela asks us to come back after we talk to everybody in town. We can finally see the town, I'm so happy! Oh gosh, this is the town, this must be the town square. Wow, I love how all the town people is wear like this special clothes and uh, it looks pretty amazing. And you can see the flowers is dropping down. This must be, oh this is an alchemy store. It seems like we were able to talk to everybody and hopefully we'll be able to find a way to recover our memories. I love this little cutscenes to see the town. I, I do feel like the town looks a little bit an um, old style. Um. But it's different than Harvest Moon, uh, but it still kind of looks good. I, I like that, she, that the town is covered with cherry blossom. And the Lady Venezuela is like, How, what is it? Uh, I still can't remember anything. Oh, that's okay. Well, while Lady Venezuela is telling me that one day we will recover our memory, suddenly somebody come in. Oh, I wonder who is it? He looks so fancy. Uh -huh. Who are you? My name is Arthur D. Lawrence, the 13th Prince of Norred Kingdom. <gasps> he is Arthur, so we're not princess? <laughs> oh gosh. I'll be staying here in Sofia starting today. Lady Venus, I, I will kindly ask for your guidance. Oh no. <clears throat> is there something wrong? So you, you're the princess? A prince? Yes. Um, I thought I sent a letter stating that I would be arriving today. See, I told you that it wasn't me. There's no way I'm the princess. <clears throat> Be quiet already. Um, how can me, a perfect being, can make a mistake? Excuse me? Um, huh, so you're the true princess. Um, how should I explain? Well, I'm a bit lost here. Oh, that's it. This person claimed to be the princess despite having no collaborating evidence. We've never seen your face, so we have no choice to believe it. Um, what? But you're the one who makes mistake. Uh, shut up! He will hear, hear us. That's why we give away the room who is prepared for you, I'm afraid. I beg for your forgiveness. Oh my. Well, but I didn't make any mistake. <laughs> oh, the dragon basically blamed it all on us. That's so funny. Milky, I'm sorry. Um, could you go live in the inn for a while? Uh, I guess we can only say fine. I understand. Um, please wait. What are you going to do? Well, um, I, I will stay at the inn until everything is settled. Sorry, Milky. Nah, please don't be. There's no need for that. Yeah. Oh, why? Well, the prince actually told us that he had something more important to do and he preferred that Milky just continue to become the princess and do his thing for, her, for him. And we have a choice of uh, please give me one day to consider. I understand. Oh, no, no, no. You know what? I'm gonna mess her again. What's wrong in the game? I wonder what we pick if we say no, no, no. Don't you think this is help answer? Please think about it. Quick, answer it. <laughs> so we can't choose that. What about if I say, please give me one day to consider? Huh, what should you consider? You should be moved by his passion. You should just answer it. I guess our only option is, <laughs> is saying I understand. Oh, you're willing to help? Good, good, good. <laughs> it's funny how a lot of the fr uh, options, even though we seem to be given an option, but not. Um, but anyways, um, it seems like the prince will uh, help us to tell us what we need, need to do as a princess. And he will leave some somewhere else. Well, after a, a long dialogue <laughs> and the Milky accidentally just watered the dragon, ignore that. And the uh, dragon asked us to take a look at the, the quest board. So it looks so cute. Oh, and the, actually the quest board talked to us. I was going to say the quest board almost looked like a person. And apparently the town people will leave quests here and we need to fulfill their quest. And the quest board is saying, Hello, nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Eliza. Oh, who are you? Where's, where are you? Huh? You can hear me? I can, but I couldn't see you. Oh, apparently the quest box can speak. I'm right in front of you. <gasps> the quest box is speaking? Yes, I'm Quest Box Eliza. You can hear me? Great, listen to me. 
and then they give us introduction about what is quest quest box. Okay, so we got our first quest, and we can hit the minus button in order to see all the quests. The first quest is rather easy. It just asks us to check this little board, this little board thing in the dragon room. I wonder what is it. And apparently, this is a thing called a princess board. And the prince Arthur is gonna teach us what is it. Ah, oh, this is interesting. I've never seen this mechanic before. Apparently, as a princess, we can use our princess points to make orders. And then we can do some research on, like, oh, getting a new backpack. It needs 50 points, and we happen to have that. So, order time! Oh, now our backpack becomes bigger, and we can carry more stuff. And it seems like the more people tell people trust me trust us or the more requests we do the more points we got oh being a princess sure is nice isn't it and it seems like another task we want to do is attract more visitors in town and one thing we can do is uh, organize festival oh gosh it's so interesting instead of having a set of fast festival it seems like in room factory we need to use our points to schedule festivals and the festival changes based on season and then we have a different festival to to pick on there's a three spring one a cooking festival um I don't know the second one, and there's a Moko Moko Thanksgiving festival. <laughs> I don't even know what is it. A lot of the festivals seems really really interesting. Oh, I don't know which one to pick. Okay, so Miyuki decided to pick the cooking festival because it will happen soon. It will at the spring six right now. So hopefully we can join the cooking festival. Yes. It's gonna be super interesting. I wonder if there's any other festival that happens without us scheduling it. Oh, and now, um, because uh, once we did the festival, I think the visitor will we will have more visitors in town. And I heard if we win, <laughs> if we join the competition, actually won during the festival, it will actually give us even more points. I wonder whether we can win the first the cooking festival first year. It's probably going to be really hard. Yippee! Now that we finished the first quest, which is super easy, we got tons of uh, seeds from... Oh, oh! I almost ate the seeds. I don't know how to get them. Okay, take the seeds and then get it. Okay. So the, the, the controls, it's a tiny bit different than Harvest Moon, so Miyuki is still getting used to it. Apparently, we can only do one quest per day, and now it's some free time for us to kind of go, go around the town and visit the town. Oh, okay, so we can directly go out here. Oh, that's so cute. We have a little um, balcony thingy. Oh, I love our little princess room. And then this is our little farm, and then I bet this is our shipping bin. Wow, let's take a look at inside. Nothing so far. So Miyuki's gonna put down all the seeds we just got and uh, clean up the farm a little bit. Well, since we finished our first quest, this is also the end of our first impression video. Unfortunately, because of the long, long cutscene, Miyuki wasn't able to show uh, more about the tongue and the farming part of the game. So I will definitely show you more in the next episode. But so far, I have to say I'm having a lot of fun. I love the storyline and I love how many elements and the things to do in Ruin Factory. It seemed to have a more complex system by half as moon, but still kept that farming and animal raising part which I love. I also love the art style and the characters we met so far. I can see myself spending tons and tons of hours into this game. So let me know what you guys think about this game. Do you like it? Uh, do you want to see more Let's Play for it for this series? If you do enjoy this video and want to see more like it, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Oh, thank you guys so so much for watching today and thanks for special thanks for my awesome Patreon donors. Awesome. You guys are the best. And I will see you guys next time.